warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good day everyone. My name is Zahra Atta from SMBN Y Garden. Today, I would like to tell you a story about a brave hunter. The title is Lahila. Once upon a time in Gorontalo, lived a brave hunter named Lahila. He spent most of the time in his life by going hunting. Sometimes he stays kind of boring, but this one day it is different. Layla saw several angels coming down from the sky. Layla was mesmerized by this rare view. Wow, what a beauty, he said while gapping. The angels come down from the sky and take a bath on the leg. Before they swung, they took their wings off. Lailot was seeing them from far away. He fell in love, but it's impossible for him to approach them. But Lailot was brave and smart. <laughs> Lailot sneaked behind the bush and stole a pair of wings. Then he hid it behind a big tree. <laughs> she must be very sad now. I am such a genius. And after the angels finished taking a bath, one of them realized that her wings had gone. No! I come down my wings. Where is my wings? Cranked the poor angel. The other angels were called by their master, so that poor angel was left alone on earth. Then, Layla came out from his hiding. He approached the poor angel. He bowed. My angel, what happened to you? Why are you crying? The angel looked at Layla and said, I cannot find my wings. Then, he asked her again, Where did you lose it, my angel? After that, the angel told him everything what was happening. And the hunter promised her that would help her to find the wings. It was getting late at night. She needed some food. So he took her home. Time passed by. He allowed her to stay at his house until they found the wings. The relationship getting better and closer. So they fell in love. And Layla kneeled down on his knee and said, My dear, I fall in love with you. With your kindness and loveliness, will you marry me? And the angel said yes, so they got married. One day, Layla went hunting for animals. As her wife looking around the garage, she finally found her wings. That time, she was very happy and excited. So now, she can go back to heaven again. But, she was also down with a lot of questions on his head. Why? Why is it here? Is it possible if I let stole it back then when I lose it? In range, he rushed outside to the backyard and wrote a letter saying that she was very disappointed by him and she had left for heaven. Layla came home. Darling, I'm home. But no one answered his greetings. His house was empty and empty like a cemetery. He kept on yelling but still no one answered. Out of nowhere, he remembers something. Oh no, look the wings! He rushed outside to the garage and found out the wings were missing. He rushed outside to the backyard. Layla found out the letter on the raptor tree. Layla realized that he had done something terrible, but he couldn't do anything. Regret was filling his head and heart. Layla sat down slowly. 
and start sobbing. Suddenly, the rocket tree behind him talk. I can help you to go to heaven. You still have a chance. Without any hesitation, Layla climbed up to the tree and finally met with his wife with help of the rocket tree. The angel didn't want to stare at her husband's eye. She even kicked him out of heaven. Luckily, he still could hold on to the rotten tree and finally met with his wife again. Layla kneeled down again, but this time is for an apology. Forgive me, my darling. I've been such a jerk to you. I promise I will not tell lies again after this. But still, the angel didn't want to turn back. The angel yelled, I will never forgive you. You don't even deserve forgiveness at all. Fortunately, the rotten tree was too old, so he broke and he fell on the stone. It is so hard that it left a footprint on it. Until today, we can still see the footprint on the famous Layla stone in Gorontalo. Now, let me tell you something I learned from this story. You better be a truthful person. It is good to tell the truth. Also, helping others is where we help ourselves. Thank you for your attention. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.